Welcome to another tutorial on SPSS. Today we are going to learn about multivariate regression analysis which is used in situations of problems which have many factors and you want to check how all of them cause or affect one another. Now you've all probably heard about the linear regression which is a common statistical test which considers just one dependent variable or a single outcome. Now, multivariate regression is another variant of the regression test which checks the impact of many independent variables on many dependent variables. For example, if you want to see how a company's promotional activities are affecting its performance, you will need to check discounts, coupon, buy one get one free offer, loyalty points and other freebies. On the other hand, company performance indicators can be sales and customer satisfaction. So since we want to check how these five independent variables are affecting two dependent variables, we are going to apply the multivariate regression test. This test will help us examine the impact. Conversely, a linear regression can be applied in case of only one dependent variable, that is if you wanted to check either only sales or customer satisfaction. Now, after you have run the multivariate regression test on SPSS, the output will have many result tables. Each table is different and shows the impact from a different perspective. The first table will be the box test of equality of variance, which shows the covariance between the elements in your data, that is the direction of the relationship between the elements. Now this relationship can be direct or inverse. If the direction is upwards, then it is a direct relationship. And if the direction is downward, then it's an inverse relationship. The profits of a company are based on many things. And sales and manufacturing cost are two of them. When the manufacturing cost of the company increases, the profits tend to fall. And when the manufacturing cost decreases, the profits tend to shoot up. This shows that profits are inversely related to manufacturing cost. But in case of sales, the effect is opposite. When the sales increase, the profits also go up and when the sales dip, the profits tend to fall. This represents a direct relationship between sales and profits. Now this table will have many rows representing different values. But the most relevant one in our case is going to be the significance value because it shows us the relationship between the variables in your data. So if this significance value is more than 0.05, then there exists a relationship between the variables. So in case of this example, as we can see that the significance value is 0.385. So we can say that yes, there is an impact of the company's promotional activities on its performance. But notice that this table does not indicate whether the relationship is direct or inverse. This because box test shows only the presence of covariance and not the direction of covariance between the elements. Now in this result table, the impact on each dependent variable is shown separately. So for this example, it shows us how the promotional activities of the company that we considered that are discounts, coupons, buy one get one free offer, loyalty points and other freebies are firstly affecting customer satisfaction and secondly, how are they affecting the sales. Promotional activities are the independent factors whereas the customer satisfaction and sales are the dependent factors. So as we can see in this table, the significance value for sales and customer satisfaction are displayed separately, that is in different rows. Now here in this example, the significance value of both the variables are more than 0.05. Uh, in case of sales, it is 0.172 and in case of customer satisfaction, it is 0.182. Therefore, we can say that yes, promotional activity do affect the sales of the company and the customer satisfaction. This table is very similar to the box test and Levine's test table except that in this case the relationship for each independent variable is shown separately rather than the dependent variables. Another difference is that in case of this table the significance value must be less than 0.05 to be concluded as an impact. Now, since the significance value of the discount buy one get one free offer and loyalty programs is less than 0.05, we can say that these activities affect the company's sales and customer satisfaction. The between subject effect test in multivariate analysis shows how many groups consist of multiple sub-elements that affect two or more factors. 
issues of how different discount schemes affected the company's customer satisfaction as well as sales. This table also shows the significance value for sales and satisfaction score in separate rows. However, this table does not show the independent variable or the group's effect separately. The significance value in case of this table should be less than 0.05 to be considered significant. So in our case here, the significance value for both the dependent variables is less than 0.05. So we can say that there is a relationship between all the groups that are discount, coupons, loyalty program and advertisement on the sales and the satisfaction score. The multiple comparison test shows the same group wise effect as the previous table but for each element of each group separately. Discount relationship with coupons and ads and the combined effect on sales is shown in the first row. We can see that the significance value of each type of promotional activity is presented separately for all the activities. The significance value of all the factors is less than 0.05. So, there exists a relationship between all the promotional activities as well as sales and satisfaction score.